Hello, what's up guys? Eman from Peso Smart PH here. Welcome sa open bagong episode. Shout out to all the podcast listeners. I appreciate you all. Today, di discuss natin and ipapakita ko sa inyo yung mga April dividend stocks. So yes, sobrang bilis no April na agad. So this is the fourth month of 2021. So natapos na agad yung first quarter ng 2021. So yeah, sobrang bilis lang talaga. But anyway, We are going for our first stock on the list which is Shang Properties Incorporated. Yung stock code niya is SHNG. Yung sector nito is property. Then yung dividend payment is 8 centavos per share. Yung ex date naman nito is on April 6 and your record date is on April 9. Mababayaran kayo on April 16. So mabilis lang yung turnover no. And yung current market price niya is mura lang naman sa 2.72 pesos per share lang. However, yung dividend yield niya is medyo orange tayo dyan. 2.94%. So medyo mababa yan ng konti. No? Pero yung 5-year average dividend yield naman niya is 5.12%. So kumbaga in the long run or siguro pagka in-average out mo. No? Siguro kasi medyo bumaba lang yung kinita nila. Itong 2020, that's why medyo bababa yung binigil ng dividends this particular period. But there's a chance na magbigay pa rin sila ng additional dividends this year, siguro second quarter or siguro second half ng 2021, which will bring up no yung kanilang dividend yield for this year. And yung 5-year payout ratio is medyo mababa din, orange tayo dyan, 27.64%. Next one is meron tayong holdings ito, si SCC, Semerara Mining and Power Corporation. Yung sector niya is mining and oil. Yung dividend payment is 1.25 pesos per share. And yung ex date niya is on April 7. Record date would be on April 13. Payment date on April 23. And yung current market price niya is medyo tumaas na, no? 13.58. Bibigyan tayo niya ng dividend yield of 9.20%. So green tayo dyan, mataas yan, no? Yung 5-year average dividend yield niya is mataas din, 12.82%. Green na green din tayo dyan. And yung 5-year payout ratio niya is nasa 104%. So halos lahat ng kinikita nila over the past 5 years is binibigay nila as dividend sa kanilang mga stockholders. Alright, we are moving on to the next one. So si DMCI Holdings Incorporated, yung kanyang stock code is DMC. Yung sector niya is holding firms. Different payment is dalawa, merong special. So isang 13 centavos and isang 35 centavos. Yung ex date niyan is on April 12. Record date on April 15 and payment date on April 26. Current market price medyo tumaas din siya ng konti, nasa boundary na siyang 5 pesos lang before i-announce yung kanilang dividends nitong Monday lang, no. So yung current market price niya is 5.55 pesos per share. And yung dividend yield for this year is 8.65%. So medyo malaki din yan. Yung 5-year average dividend yield niya is 7.05%. So yes, above 5% pa rin yan. That's why we are green dyan sa percentage na yan. And yung 5-year payout ratio niya is 59%. So above 50%. That's why green din tayo dyan. Next up is si SECB or Security Bank Corporation. Yung sector niya is financials, mainly in banks. Yung dividend payment is isang 1 peso per share and isang 50 centavos. Ex date on April 13. Record date on April 16. And payment date on April 29. Yung current market price niya is 121 pesos per share which will give you a very low dividend yield of 1.24%. Yung 5-year average dividend yield niya is 1.63%. So, talagang medyo nasa 1-ish percent range lang no, yung yield niya every single year. Yung payout ratio niya is medyo nasa lower end din ng spectrum. That is 23.61%. And now, we're moving on to the next company, si Finma Corporation. Yung stock code niya is PHN. Sector niyan is industrial, mainly in construction, infra, and allied services. 
dividend payment of 40 centavos per share x date on april 8 record date on april 14 payment on may 5 and your current market price niya is 12.28 pesos per share in dividend yield niya is 3.26 percent five-year average naman sa dividend yield is 4.82 percent so almost five percent na no? so malapit na yan yung five-year payout ratio is 40.8 percent so kung medyo itataas sila yung payout ratio nila medyo tataas na rin yung dividend yield nila but uh, they chose not to do that this year but hopefully in the coming years ganun yung gawin nila but syempre hindi naman uh, requirement para sa isang business or sa isang company na i-share lahat ng net income nila no pabalik sa mga shareholder syempre meron din silang kumbaga parang pinaglalaanan nung perang yun uh, na mas makapagbigay pa no? mas maraming income sa business so yeah that's pretty good pa rin and 40% is uh, really healthy na din sa payout ratio. No? And that is just the average for 5 years. Next up is Century Pacific Food Incorporated. Stock code niya is CNPF. Sector is industrial din. Food, beverage, and tobacco naman yung focus nila. Different payment is dalawa. Isang 18 centavos and isa pang 18 centavos. So basically 36 centavos. X date is on April 6. So, mas maaga rin yung X date nito. No? Record date on April 12. Pero mas late kayo mababayaran kasi May 6 na yan. Yung current market price is 18 pesos and 48 centavos. Which will give you a 1.95% dividend yield. Yung 5-year average dividend yield is 1.33%. So, historically, medyo mababa talaga sila magbigay ng dividends. And yung payout ratio naman nila is 23.57%. Next one on the list is CCA, yun yung stock code niya, Concrete Aggregates Corporation A. Kasi meron silang isa pang stock, Concrete Aggregates Corporation B naman. But hindi nagbibigay ng dividends yung particular stock na yun. Okay, yung sector niya is industrial, mainly in construction, infra, and allied services. Yung dividend payment is 45 centavos per share. X date is April 8th. Record date on April 14 and mawabayaran kayo on May 6. Current market price is 55.20 pesos per share. So medyo mataas yung price niya no, compared dun sa earnings. Kasi chinek ko yung kanilang PE ratio. Nasa 50-ish levels no, yung kanilang PE ratio. But anyway, moving on. Yung dividend yield niya is hindi rin gano'ng kaganda. So, red tie dyan kasi it's less than 1%. Nasa 0.82% lang yung ibibigay niyan for this particular period. And yung 5-year average dividend yield niya is 1.33% lang. And then yung 4-year payout ratio niya on average was 103% which is really weird, no? But yeah, anyway, ayun yung lumabas. And yeah, medyo mataas sila magbigay ng payout ratio. Uh, but hindi nagre-reflect sa dividend yield nila kasi medyo mataas yung stock prices nila currently. So, ayun. Next one naman is Cebu Land Masters Incorporated. Yung stock code niya is CLI. Yung sector niya is property. Dividend payment niya is 25 centavos per share. X date on April 13. Record date on April 16. Payment date on May 10. Current market price is 5 pesos and 90 centavos. And then yung dividend yield nyan is 4.24%. And then yung 4 year average dividend yield naman nya is nasa 4.06%. So that's pretty healthy na din no. And yung 2 year payout ratio nya kasi ang meron lang data sa PPI trade is like 18 and 19. And then ayun. 15.75% yung payout ratio niya. So, medyo mababa talaga. And next one, si GMA7. GMA Network Incorporated. Yung pinakahihintay natin. So, medyo malaki na din yung holdings natin on this particular stock. Yung sector niya is services. Mainly in media. Different payment is 1.35% pesos per share. This is like the biggest dividend payment nila since na-list sila sa 
PSE back in 2007. And kagandahan kasi dito, since 2008, no? Kasi 2007 nga sila na list. Since 2008 until 2021, dire-diretso yan, nagbibigay sila ng dividends. Yung X date niya is April 19. And yung record date is April 22. Payment date is May 18. So, next month pa. Yung current market price is medyo bumaba to ng konti. No? So, 8.70 back on Monday no nag-trade ako or bumili ako nitong stock na to. Umabot siya around, I think, 9.40. Yun yung uh, highest price point. But I think medyo tataas pa rin yan lalo na kapag ka malapit na yung X date. Uh, nitong si GMA7. Yung dividend yield niya at its current price na 8.70 is 15.52%. That is pretty high. 5-year average dividend yield niya is 10.13%. Mataas din yan. Sobrang ideal niyan no, para sa mga gusto ng uh, passive income, ng dividend income. Kasi kung isipin mo, di ba? In the past 5 years, kung yung 10%, di ba, every single year binibigyan ka ng 10%. E isipin mo, kung 10 million yung pera mo, no, na naka-invest dito sa particular stock na to. Kasi kung 5 years or 10 years mo nang hawak si GMA7, mas mababa pa for sure sa 8.70 na bili mo itong si GMA7 back then. So, kung meron ka ng 10 million bibigyan yun sa'yo, on average, every single year is 1 million pesos. That's just crazy, no? And in yung parang goal ko or yung parang idea ko uh, kung bakit ako nag i incur or bumibili ng mga, ng mga ganitong dividend-paying stocks. So, yeah. Uh, siguro in the next, uh, siguro 5 or 10 years, uh, I believe nag-YouTube pa rin ako. Uh, <laughs> share ko sa inyo, no? Na ganito yung nangyari. And, and yeah, masaya na, you know, nasi-share ko sa inyo itong journey na to. And like, in the end, kapag uh, you know, naging successful itong ating investment ventures. Uh, yeah, masaya siya lalong i-share. <laughs> And uh, I hope na you join in <laughs> sa journey na to. But yeah, anyway, 5-year payout ratio niya is 94.8%. Mataas din yan. Okay, last but not the least is isang preferred stock galing kay 8990. Holdings Incorporated, yung kanyang stock code is 8990B. Yung sector niya is property. And yung dividend payment is 1.375. X date on April 27. Record date would be on October 9. So, ang layo, no? <laughs> And then, mawabayaran ko November 10 pa. So, this is kind of weird for like a preferred stock. Kasi usually, like, parang... Uh, yung pinamatagal ng distance ng X date from the payment date is around 1 month. So, ito yung pinaka malayong nakita ko. But anyway, mababayaran pa rin kayo this year. Current market price niya is 100 pesos and 90 centavos. Yung dividend yield niya is 1.36 for this quarter. So, quarterly binibigay yan. So, effective annually is 5.45%. Yung 5-year dividend yield niya on average is not applicable since kakabigay lang nitong uh, preferred stock na ito this year, 2021. And then, 5-year payout ratio niya is wala din since this is a preferred stock. Alright guys, ang bilis lang no. So, that concludes our list. So, silipin natin yung mga sources for today's episode. Andyan si PSE Edge, BPI Trade, a photo from Unsplash, and si Jiffy. Lahat ng mga links is matatagpuan sa description sa baba. And before we end, we have a quote galing kay Gary Vaynerchuk. So yeah, spread lang tayo ng konting positivity. The world has plenty of love. Start listening to it. And bago ang lahat, no, since medyo marami na rin naman nagko-comment uh, sa inyo ng mga subscribers ko uh, sa mga YouTube videos ko. So uh, I really thank you for that. I really love the engagement and the discussion. So ito, meron tayong featured comment. <laughs> so today, uh, yung galing yan kay Dens. So yan, uh, bago siyang subscriber by the way. So welcome niya siya. So sabi niya, good stuff my dude aside from the main topic of your channel which is investments and practicalities. An important aspect of decision making is learning the mindset that can get you places and to make an informed decision on what you want to do. Glad to have seen this one. So yeah, Dins, thank you very much for your kind words. And I'm really glad that you uh, found my channel. And yeah, I hope na I can bring 
uh, more value to you know, sa mga videos na pinapost ko. And yeah, hopefully we can talk again soon. So yeah guys, kung gusto niyo ma-feature at the end of um, my video or my episode, comment lang kayo palagi dyan. No? And lahat ng mga comments nyo is binabasa ko talaga. And as much as possible, lahat ng comments nyo is nire-replyan ko agad. Anyway guys, that's gonna be it for this episode. Sana may natutunan kayo and if umabot kayo at the end of this video, thank you very much. I appreciate you. Huwag niyong kalimutan is smash yung like button. Nakatulong yun sa algorithm ng YouTube. Share niyo rin tong video kung natripan niyo sa mga friends niyo and sa family niyo. Again, twice a week ako nag-upload ng mga video similar to this. So that's on a Monday and a Friday. So subscribe ka na if hindi mo pa nagagawa. Ring mo na rin yung notification bell para wala kang miss out sa mga uploads ko. And if you haven't checked it out, meron na tayong channel memberships. Click mo lang yung second link dyan sa description to know more about it. Thanks again for watching and listening everyone. Stay safe. I'll see you all on the next episode. Always remember, be peso smart.